Ultimatum. Trump's dodge gives 29 sanctuary cities very bad news, you'll cheer. It resembles continuing on pointlessly, yet the reality of the situation is that numerous Americans aren't mindful that there are more than 300 sanctuary cities in the 32 states. Many are similarly not mindful that California Senate President Pro Tempore Kevin DeLeon, de Los Angeles, and Governor Jerry Brown formulated a bill, that has since passed, that makes California the main sanctuary state. These numerous lawmakers, paid by the citizens and many ruling against the desires of their constituencies, show a level of egotism and rebellion that in some other industry regarding genuine business and commerce would be a fireable offense. Be that as it may, in legislative issues, as we have seen over numerous decades, legislators talk the discussion, yet once in a while walk the walk, particularly after the re-election bid has been effective. President Trump is one of those individuals who is totally detested by the swamp establishment unequivocally in light of the fact that he is so centered around keeping guarantees. Influences them to look terrible. In a staggering declaration. The organization has expressed that 29 sanctuary cities are currently being defunded because of their denial of following federal immigration laws, in the event that they don't change their sanctuary status ASAP. The jurisdictions were also given an ultimatum, comply with Section 1373 of 8 U.S. Code by December 8 or forfeit their public safety grants given under the Dodges Edward Bryan Memorial Justice Assistance Grant Program which funds millions of dollars yearly to support local law enforcement. Section 1373 prohibits local and state governments from enacting laws or policies that limit communication with immigration and customs and border protection about information regarding the immigration or citizenship status of individuals. Attorney General Jeff Sessions said states, Counties and cities that fail to comply with federal immigration laws with sanctuary policies undermine the safety of their residents. We urge jurisdictions to not only comply with Section 1373, but also to establish sensible and effective partnerships to properly process criminal aliens, Sessions said. One city that received a warning from the Dodge was Washington, D.C where Mayor Muriel Bowser put forth a policy for the city's Department of Corrections that stated employees shall not inquire about a person's immigration status or contact, ICE, for purposes of initiating civil enforcement immigration proceedings. In its letter to the city, the Dodge said the order appears to restrict the requesting of information regarding immigration status, thus putting it in violation of Section 1373. The Washington Examiner reported. In addition to Illinois, Oregon, Vermont and the District of Columbia, the other jurisdictions that received letters on Wednesday were Albany, N.Y., Berkeley, California, Bernalillo County, N.M., Burlington, V.T., Contra Costa County, California, City and County of Denver, Colorado, Fremont, California, Jackson, Miss. King County, Washington, Lawrence, Mass., Los Angeles, California, Louisville Metro, Key, Middlesex, NJ, Monterey County, California, Monoma County, or, Newark, NJ, Riverside County, California, Sacramento County, California, City and County of San Francisco, California, Santa Ana, California, Santa Clara County, California, Seattle, Washington, Sonoma County, California, Watsonville, California, and West Palm Beach, Florida. Sessions sent similar warning letters to other jurisdictions earlier this year. In April, Sacramento, Chicago, Cook County, New Orleans, Philadelphia, Las Vegas, Miami, Milwaukee, and New York City were asked to prove compliance with federal immigration law. In October, Chicago, New Orleans, New York, and Philadelphia, as well as Cook County, Hill, were told they had a last chance to prove they were not sanctuaries for illegal immigrants. Democrats have been screaming about ICE operators arresting those they don't feel are in any capacity a peril to society. In an exceptionally all-around took-care-of operation, 
ICE initiative went specifically to the jail systems of these sanctuary cities and requesting that they call attention to who were the unlawful hoodlums and bolt up. At the point when authorities wouldn't coordinate, they at that point swung to the late